My People is proud to present the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 Days 40 Fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all. The 4 Days for Fintechs initiative continues to shine a spotlight on innovators that are using financial technology to serve the unserved and underserved people in Uganda and across Africa. On day 28 of the annual 4 Days for Fintechs initiative, season 5, we are happy to have Stephen from PESA Save. Stephen, please introduce yourself. I go by the names of Stephen Emalu. I'm the co-founder and team lead at PESA Save. Yes, uh, Stephen, for those uh, seeing you for the very first time, what is PESA Save and what do you do at PESA Save? So uh, PESA Save is a financial technology company and uh, we build technology solutions for their underserved and unbanked populations with large focus on the youth. Okay. How we do this is uh, we have created a PESA Save application that allows individuals that are underbanked and uh, the youth uh, create specific targets towards their financial needs and they can periodically save towards these targets with uh, what they have outlined in the application. So how we help them is uh, the application is uh, easy to use, easy to access and they don't need to travel uh, distances to go and say maybe make deposits towards their savings and they see the transparency as they save towards their financial target. We also work with groups are of uh, individuals working in informal sectors and uh, these uh, individuals come together as groups say for example uh, staff who are teaching in a school so they come together and they join the persistent application why we do this is because uh, we're trying to create an alternative to credit that uh, these underbanked and uh, undeserved individuals would, re would rather not have gotten from the existing financial uh, financial solutions like the banks. So with this, these individuals are able to save periodically and pulled, pulled together a source of funds. And this source of funds uh, works as an alternative for credit for them. All right, Stephen, uh, okay. Uh, before we go further into how you do what you do, someone might want to know, when did you start this? And what is your inspiration behind you developing Pesa Save? So, uh, when we started PesaSave, uh, we started PesaSave uh, in around 2022, and uh, and it sparked uh, largely from uh, uh, I being a youth myself and my colleague uh, Paul Kamaso, uh, we were having a discussion, and uh, and we're trying to go through or analyze the existing financial solutions because as part of my family savings group, but. Uh, we had challenges of, uh, uh, I think we walked into some bank and the paperwork was too much and uh, the lines were too long. And we ended up not opening up a joint uh, savings, savings account, account. With, uh, with that particular bank. Yes. So um, when we were speaking, uh, uh, coincidentally, my co-founder, Paul Kamasu, shared the same challenges. Um, and and uh, we're like, okay, what solution can we can we bring on board to kind of to kind of iron out the challenges we are facing ourselves and uh, and the broader people out there? Because when we asked around, is we're not just the people facing our challenges. There were a number of people out there who are still facing the same challenges as us. So we realized that a certain segment of the individuals or a population, and largely the youth, are really cut out by by uh, by the existing financial solutions and and yeah. That's uh, when we set out to um, to found Pesasev. Uh and yeah, the journey has been going on since 2022, and uh, till to date, uh, we are still happy to serve the population. Right. That's quite amazing, Stephen. So I would want to know, for whatever you are doing, you have mentioned individual savings and group savings. Break down for me the individual savings. Who is eligible? How do I get started as an individual saver? 
Yes, uh, for the individual server, uh, anyone who is, uh, who I would wishes. say, who wishes so can get started, yeah. So how it works or what was the inspiration for those individual saving, uh, savings, I uh, would love to term them as uh, goal-based savings because uh, you are saving towards a specific financial uh, goal that you want to meet over a specific period of time. So for example, if uh, say Nicholas, you want to purchase a car in the next two, three years, yeah? Uh, how the individual saving works is uh, you go onto the PESA save application, then uh, you uh, you tap on the, uh, the button called goals. Then you, you know, you set up it's the goal the way you'd want it. So maybe you'd want to buy a, a, a car in the next uh, two years and you want to save uh, uh, by weekly. Monthly, weekly. Yes, daily. towards that. Okay. And then you set that up and uh, and yeah, it's as easy as that. So you start saving towards it. Uh, the advantage is that we don't, I, we don't accept you to, um, to, to withdraw your funds. Yeah. Okay. The easiest you can do is because we acknowledge that most times individuals uh, meet uh, some challenges. Yeah. They could fall short term challenges. Uh, so uh, you can access uh, your, you can access a credit against your savings but you don't tap into the savings. Yeah, because I was going to ask that what if one Stephen wanted to buy a car yes. and after six months and him saving, let me say, three or four million, yes. he has an emergence of a sick brother, yes. a sick sister, yes. and they want to use that now to rechannel it to saving a life. How does PESA save, save them? Yes, so um, exactly a point I had uh, mentioned like earlier. Yeah, we really don't deny you. Uh, typically, we don't lock you out of your savings. Yeah, uh, for that we acknowledge that some such challenges come and and you can't like you can't work around them. So uh, with this, you can uh, access uh, access credit against your savings. Yeah. So uh, ideally, it's like you get a loan. Yeah, you could actually free loan yes. okay. over your savings, but your saving will continue running. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Now tell, tell talk us through the group savings. <coughs> How do they work? Yeah. Uh, for the group savings, um, individuals come together, uh, like the friends and family, um, or even colleagues who work together. Say, so for example, uh, if you are amazing people at a high people, yes. uh, decide and say, all right, you want to save as a group, and uh, you know you set in place sometimes maybe. I want to save for a period of a year, then uh, uh, after a year we can access our funds or have our funds. You uh, one individual who uh, becomes initially the, a group administrator, uh, logs onto the application, then creates a group. So when they create a group, they're able to, <coughs> to invite different uh, individuals through their phone contacts, yeah, phone contacts and email addresses. So when they invite you, you'd obviously uh, sign up on the application and then you'd find uh, uh, the invitation there to join the group. So, yeah, you join the group. Uh, so um, there are some, you can set uh, uh, some rules around the group, for example, uh, interest on, on loans. Yeah, we love to keep it flexible for groups uh, to set that for themselves. It's not like we fix uh, fixed interest on loans uh, individuals get. So you can set the interest on loans, you can set the minimum contribution uh, per the specific time. So when that is up and running, uh, yeah, so the, the application can periodically remind individuals that, hey, Nicholas, um, uh, you have, so your, sav your saving target is coming, your group saving target is coming closer. So for the math and uh, Obviously, say maybe most people may set a minimum of maybe 50,000 Ugandan shillings, yeah, uh, for it per individual per month. Okay. So, uh, incidentally, you can't save lower than that, yeah. Okay. So, if you maybe deposit lower than that, you'd have a balance pending uh, on the application. Okay. So, the app will continue reminding you until, <clears throat> you know, you clear all that. Yeah, so... Um, that's how like um, group savings work. group saving works yes. then there's an element of credit yeah because still like, for the group yes still for the group like okay. i mentioned uh <clears throat> we are trying to uh to 
force the mode where uh, the people are supporting themselves, yeah, uh, alternatively from the existing uh, credit solutions, because we acknowledge that they face uh, significant challenges and access to credit remains one of the biggest challenges in uh, in the fint in the finance space, yeah. So uh, how we do that? The savings that they pull together don't just lay low. Yeah. So when the groups pull together their, their savings or pull together a sort of pool of funds, uh, individuals are able to, you know, maybe Nicholas, maybe down the road, uh, you get a challenge, yeah, and you know, uh, you, you can't go to the to the banks or you can't go to the money lenders or whatsoever. Uh, so this uh, creates an opportunity for you because you're an, you're existing a group, a group that has pulled together uh, local uh, funds or resources. So you can tap into these uh, these resources as an element of credit for you. Uh, the bit about it is uh, uh, since the groups have uh, created the the interest rates themselves, so the interest rates are very flexible and like very manageable and it's very high. The terms are favorable, uh, which allows you to to you know access credit maybe pump into your business or maybe take a child back to school, then you pay it back periodically. Um, obviously, the credit has no uh, has no collateral okay. attached to it. Collateral it's collateral free, though um, uh, though you have to have guarantors within the group. Yeah, so the guarantors guarantee an amount of money they're paid. So yeah, so you have to be super friendly in the group setting. <laughs> so that when you want credit and you, yeah. know, you can you speak to a colleague to, and you're like, hey. To push yeah. you through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, yes, sir. Yeah. That's an amazing thing you are doing at Pesa Save. Yes, please. So make me understand, Stephen. Yes, yes. For the two, three years you have been running Pesa Save. Yeah. How many individuals have you served? How many individuals are saving, are getting credit from your platform? And how many groups are you serving in estimation? Yeah, uh, so uh, I would uh, tell you it uh, for the groups that we are serving, we have over 28 groups now existent. Yeah, then uh, for the individuals, uh, we are serving over 681 individuals. Okay. Yeah. And spread uh, across? Yeah, spread across. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the amounts they have, uh, the, 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 transacted yeah, the transactions that yes. have gone through the app since that time, uh, come close to five hundred eighty-two million shillings. Okay, and um, that's quite a number. Yeah, it it is, uh, yes. it is, and it's something really, really we really appreciate because, uh, uh, yeah, it's it, it has grown, it has grown year in year out. The first year was really like taking a lot of learnings yeah okay. uh, yeah and we really started serious work i think uh mid last year right. and yeah so lady that's around the numbers uh, yes yes please yeah, thank you and uh, i believe you know you are dealing with something very sensitive yeah people's money <coughs> yeah someone may want to ask where do you get the mandate to deal with people's money yeah uh that's a very interesting. That's a very interesting question because that's the biggest challenge like we have uh, faced since inception, and uh, and you know, uh, time in time out we try to navigate around. Yeah. So, uh, we really uh, keep what we want to keep as compliant as possible. Yeah. Within even still us uh, our our circum. So, <clears throat> uh, what we are really relied on lately is, uh, you know, because uh, we are still young and we're still growing, is uh, we are, we have partnered with um, with third parties, yeah. We have partnered with third parties who we believe, you know, have the complete mandate and have the expertise. Licensed third parties? Yes, licensed okay. third parties. Okay. They have the mandate and they have the expertise in, you know, handling, say, finances and, uh, you know, keeping money. So, yeah, that's our... Uh, that's how we have uh, we have um, that's how we have kept uh, part with the uh, regulations and the compliance, and uh, maybe if you don't mind, someone will want to know who are those third parties so that I have full confidence when saving my money with you. Yeah. Uh, so for example, we have um, 
uh, a third party called uh, a Petota, I think. Uh, yeah, so like when you make I know Petota. When you're, yes, yes. Yeah, so Petota has been on four days for fintech, so I yes, think exa- three times. Exactly. Yes. So like when you're making that, uh, when you're making that payment, obviously through uh, the through the application, you realize uh, somewhere Petota would pop up. It's because they are our third party. Uh, they are third party partners, and they help with. Um, uh, with that whole process, or oh, yeah, the whole p- process of uh, financing. So, uh, we piggyback on them, uh, they're related. Though, uh, we are concluding, uh, uh, we are concluding uh, an engagement with the bank. Uh, we hope to have it. Um, commercial bank. Yes, with the commercial bank. Uh, we hope to have it. Um, we hope to have it done by I think the next quarter, the final quarter of this year, and I would be able to. Uh, to announce it fully, uh, yeah. So currently, I can't like air out the bank because of you know uh, NDA. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, we hope that when we have them on board, really, it would be easier now to to easier to work and yeah, and to scale because we have been limited so much because of the compliance um, compliance issues. Yeah, those are those are very amazing steps you are taking at PesaSafe. Yes, uh, because you are dealing in financial inclusion, financial technology, and digital inclusion broadly, I believe along the way you have encountered a cocktail of challenges yeah. in rolling out such an amazing platform for youth, yeah. designed by youth to serve the youth. Yeah. It's an amazing proposition. Yes. What are the main challenges you are facing? Yeah, like uh, I think uh, this space has like a whole bag of challenges, and each day comes with its own new challenge. And like we love to acknowledge that fact because you know we are handling people's money and you know uh, that's uh, a huge responsibility we are holding uh, to ourselves uh, for the people. And uh, yeah, some of the big, biggest challenges obviously from inception when we were trying out when we were starting out, uh, the largest challenge was uh, uh, compliance. Uh, yeah, uh, compliance because the current uh, Compliance framework doesn't really favor young startups uh, that are really rolling out new uh, n- new innovations, and you know, uh, obviously they still have their finances kind of tied up. Still, yes. yes. So uh, the current compliance framework really doesn't f- favor or accept for such uh, young fintechs to thrive in that space. So you have to be, uh, super innovative and, you know, think out of the box and see how to first remain compliant because you are dealing with, uh, the people's money and, you know, you have to, you're holding people's responsibilities, their lifetime workings and savings and earnings. So, yeah, the element of compliance and regulation has been like the biggest, um, challenge for us to date and uh, obviously we try to navigate around it and we've been doing it perfectly since um, inception and that's why the clients we are serving trust us to date yeah it's because uh, they believe that uh, they believe they can trust us yeah and um, yeah compliance and regulation has been the hugest one Uh, obviously uh, we have gotten individuals who have come on board and uh, and you know they want to work with us they want to serve with us as groups and uh, and they keep asking around the compliance and what and yeah so <clears throat> also that uh, the people at start really first get a, a challenge towards uh, maybe accessing or using or trusting uh pesa self but uh yeah we have also had uh, a, a, a very uh a very a very committed um, approach towards that because uh, first we accepted and acknowledged that that's a challenge that's always going to come so uh, we engage these individuals deeply like we have that one-on-one touch with most of the clients we work with yeah from from the point of when they sign up yeah and uh, so we reach out to them and you know try to find out why they haven't gone ahead and you know, we understand uh, some of their challenges, some of their fears, and uh, and so creating that personal touch. And every time we reach out to them, and you know, uh, they know that 
just beyond an app, there are actually people behind the app, there are voices behind it, yeah. Uh, we've tried to build the trust around because most times when you interact with such people, uh, we find them coming back on board and really uh, saving or coming on board with groups. Yeah, <clears throat> also that's the element of trust and that's how we've been navigating it and it's been wonderful to date. Um, um, uh, then, uh, obviously financing, uh, uh, yeah, like financing, uh, is, uh, that's also one of the biggest challenges. <coughs> uh, really to see how we scale because uh, we have been bootstrapping from uh, from the from onset go. We have really done a lot of bootstrapping. Uh, we have taken part of some competitions and you know won some, and you know they come with cash prizes and that's how we've been thriving like all like from then. So. Yeah, uh, those are some of the biggest uh, challenges that could be the elephants in the room, if you could call them challenges. Amazing, Stephen. Yes, As a debutant on Four Days for a Fintech initiative, please make me understand what made you decide, you and your team, to insist that you must be on this platform. Yeah, um, a very interesting question. Uh, really what triggered... Uh, our decision is first we have been seeing 40 days fintechs, uh, 40 days, 40 fintechs. And uh, I would want to uh, yeah, commend you for the job you're doing because it's quite amazing. Um, our point of uh, inspiration to take part is because uh, uh, what 40 days, 40 fintechs believes in or what they're trying to uh, uh, to the, the, the people they are trying to serve yes. or the people they're hosting for the people they're trying to serve. Yes, the people we are serving. Uh, the actually. people you are serving, yes. uh, we fit perfectly in the people you in are serving. Space. Plus also your beliefs uh, and our beliefs are totally aligned because um, uh, you guys are looking at how to uh, work with the underbanked, underserved populations and the youth. And uh, that aligns perfectly with the people we are serving and targeting. And that's the biggest point of uh, inspiration and that's what drew us to come and um, and yeah just beyond that also um, plus also the reach of the reach you people have built over time at 40 days 40 fintechs is something uh, uh, we, we would comment and uh, something we'd love to really pick a bank on because you know if we have um, uh, people like 40 days 40 fintechs uh, you know give you space or give you audience, you know, to speak to masses out there. It also gives you some sense of credibility that, you know, PesaSafe is just not an app existent on Apple Store or uh, Google Store, Google Play Store, but it's something with people behind and, you know, with people who are dedicated to serve the masses they want to serve. And yeah, that's, uh, that's really what inspired us. and. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you, Stephen. I commend you for, one, your calmness, yeah. and two, your determination. Yeah. In your calm way, you are very determined to succeed, yeah. which usually lacks among most innovators, the young ones. Yes. You, are, you are very calm and determined to succeed. Yes. Now, Stephen, you have two minutes yes, in your camera. Please build a case as to why all the young people interested in saving should opt to use PesaSafe in two minutes. Thank you very much, uh, Nicholas. Uh, so uh, mine is really, I'm not going to even take two minutes. Um, why I would encourage a young person out there uh, to join PesaSafe is because um, uh, first we have faced these challenges we are creating for, or we are innovating for ourselves. And I, being a young person, I really, really understand some of the challenges we face as young people uh, in terms of saving, in terms of accessing credit, and in terms of, uh, you know, uh, building your credit, uh, credit worthiness. And, and that is one or the first reason I would uh, commend you to uh, join PesaSafe is because every challenge you face uh, towards your finances is a challenge I face as well. And every time I face this challenge, obviously, I want to, you know, to iron out that challenge and you know uh, put it at the back of my mind and say this challenge is 
out or it's out of the way. So it's in the same spirit that the challenges I face as a young person are the same challenges you're going to face as a young person. And uh, yeah, if we are creating solutions for these challenges, I think PesaSafe is the best place for you uh, as a young person to come on board and, uh, you know, save towards your financial your financial well-being or if you come together as a group of friends, maybe you're at campus and you have a discussion group, you know, you can go beyond just discussion groups and, you know, pull together uh, sources, uh, pull together funds in your group, saving it per Yep. Yeah, so uh, that's my point of inspiration and that's why uh, I would speak to a young person out there uh, to join because uh, this is something we have created for us, for the young people. And, you know, we understand firsthand the challenges that we are facing. Obviously, uh, the old people may know or may uh, you know, kind of relate, but they wouldn't understand with, uh, deeply the challenges we are facing, to, uh, like the deeply enriched challenges we are facing. And, um, and yeah, I'm happy to be, uh, I'm happy to face those challenges because every time a challenge comes on board, it, you know, unlocks your eyes and, you know, uh, you get to see things in a different perspective. And yeah, so I would commend all the young people out there, all the youth, uh, your friends uh, to come on board, uh, join PESA7 and, you know, let's, uh, let's build a tribe of uh, 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 young, 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 young people who have uh, a backup plan uh, in terms of finances. Thank you so much. Like you have heard from Stephen, Pesa Save is a fintech startup that has been built by the youth to serve the unserved and underserved youth. Yes. This has been day 28 of the annual four days for the fintech initiative, season five. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.